It's slimy and toxic and taking over our river. Now one local man says he's got the green solution to our war on algae. It's unsightly gunk that makes a mess of our river. The blue-green film that kills fish and releases toxins into the waters of the St. John's. We're talking about the algae bloom here. It's a film that covers our river every year. And every year, it's a concern for swimmers, boaters, and fishermen. But this year, a local businessman says he has the solution to our algae problems. He's declaring war on the bacterial bloom with an all-natural solution. Chauncey Glover has his story tonight from Duval County. Well, the city of Jacksonville has been trying for years now to see what it can do to clean up the waters in the St. John's River. And now a local business owner says he's found the answer in this little plant and this floating mat. Take a look at any retention pond in Jacksonville and you may see debris and algae floating on top of the water. The city has to either uh, build new retention ponds or make the ones that they have more effective. And Jacksonville city officials are deciding to clean what the city already has. Steve Beeman says he has the dirty water solution. It'll make the water clearer in that it won't have as much nutrients, which is what makes algae grow. It's called the bee mat. The way that this works is the plants are floating on a, on a half inch thick foam mat and they, they go through that mat with a pot that has holes in it, an aerator pot. And the roots grow through the holes in the aerator pot and hang down about 18 inches under the mat. Over time, the plants and roots grow long enough to take in nutrients and phosphorus that taint the water. These ponds get about 30 to 35 percent removal of nitrogen. And with this type of technology, we may be able to bump that all the way up to a 70% removal of nitrogen. Now, BMAT is only a test method, but its creator is confident that this time next year, waters in Jacksonville may be a little cleaner. Now, these plants will stay on this mat in the water for a year. After that, the city will decide whether or not it wants to use this method permanently or not. We're in Jacksonville. I'm Chauncey Glover, CBS 47 Action News. Let's hope it works. This new BMAT method is being funded by a grant from the state. The mastermind behind the method says many cities are turning to him to help keep their waters clean.